What's up guys, Con here with Product Guinea Pig, where we test all products to see if they're worth adding to your online dropship store or not. Today's product is a kitchen gadget that we're gonna call the Pineapple Spiral Slicer. If this thing works, it's gonna be really cool, right? I'm actually pretty excited for this product. When uh, I saw it come in, I'm like, you know what? I can't wait to put this one to the test. And from last episodes, if you remember, Mr. Pineapple. Hi, how are you? So let's take a look into the product. What does this thing even claim to do? It claims to slice perfectly spiral slices and core a complete pineapple all in pretty much one shot. If this thing works, I think we're gonna be eating a lot more pineapple in our days. Alright, so let's actually disassemble this thing and break it down, right? Okay, it comes in three different pieces. Okay, the top handle kind of pops off like that. The quality wise, it's this is stainless steel. I know it comes in plastic as well, but I wouldn't feel safe giving someone something that's plastic, just in case, you know, it's from China. So this piece kind of pops off like this, but this piece is kind of loose, so I, I'm not sure if this one is defected or not. I'm actually not even sure how this thing fully works. I kind of have a basic understanding. I guess the serrated part at the bottom here kind of like can just spin into the pineapple while this slices. This is a pretty sharp blade. So this top piece kind of pops in like that and the little knobs kind of keep it in place. All right. I'm, I'm a little skeptical because this piece is so loose. I don't know if it's going to continue slicing. I don't know if it was supposed to be in place like stuck like that or maybe I can kind of tilt it at an angle and and kind of make it strong that way but we'll see during testing so I've cut probably one pineapple in my whole life all I needed to do was one time for me to realize I'm never cutting a pineapple again This pineapple might be a little bit extra ripe. The thing is, I don't know how to pick the perfect pineapple, guys. Okay, so kind of goes on top just like this. So we're gonna we're going in the right direction. This thing is a right twist, so we're gonna be twisting right. All right, so we're gonna push this part down first. Okay, that goes in pretty easily. Oh, what the? <laughs> okay, see, yeah, that piece kind of like slides off pretty easily. You see, like I have to actually push this a little bit because the thing is not holding in place. Let me try to angle this at this angle and maybe it'll like stay in place more. We have a problem right off the bat guys. Yeah, you see, like that's exactly what I thought. This this piece right here is not moving so it can't actually slice into the pineapple. This part is going into the pineapple really easily but unless we can get this thing fixed in place then I don't think this is gonna work. Maybe it's supposed to be lower down here? Zoe, no, get down. So this piece is supposed to be fixed and not able to pop off, okay? So, but the thing is, quality-wise, if you see, these are really small little spot welds and for these to be able to hold this thing for time and time and time use again, that's gonna be a challenging one. I can see this item actually breaking pretty easily as people are using it. Does it live up to its claim? No, it does not. It's supposed to make me perfect spiral pineapples, which this is not perfect spiral pineapples, okay? It broke first time I used it. Actually, it broke before I even got to use it. All right, so my suggestion for this product, guys, is Definitely message the manufacturer just to make sure. Um, double check quality wise. Also another one is maybe look into the plastic one um, because the plastic one actually does come in one full piece and instead of separate, it's not welded on like this. So um, that might be a better option. And then suggestion three is if you are going to sell this, then maybe not go for the cheaper version of it just to try to save a buck or two and so we'll also put a link of which manufacturer that we got this product from so you guys know to avoid getting from this manufacturer okay so we saw this thing retailing for around like 14 upwards of 20 dollars i don't think it's worth buying um even if this thing did its job one time i'd want this thing to do its job a lot of times stay tuned for the 
second version of this video where we test out the plastic one and see if that works any better. Um, I hope it does because my second experience cutting a pineapple has not been a great one. But I did make a perfect pineapple core stick and I have a pineapple with a hole in it. I don't know if you want to put holes in pineapples then you know this product is great. So to conclude this product is getting a big zero from us. We really want to hold the standards high at Product Guinea Pig, so this product is just not going to cut it. And as always guys, thank you for watching, thank you for following us, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Hey, thank you so much for watching the episode guys. If you have a product you want tested by us, make sure you comment below and we'll pick the most popular one to be potentially featured in our next episode. See you then.